Hello, this is Furkan and in this video we are going to take a look at how to fetch data from WordPress website and show it in your React Native app with the help of WordPress API. So if you have this blog here, you can show it like this in your React Native app by simply pulling the data from the server. Let's start with creating a new React Native project. We will name it blog. Once the project is created, start the project with npm start. Now let's move on to app.js. Inside the app function, we will create a function of get all blogs. It is going to fetch data from our URL and save it in a state called all blogs, which we are going to create in just a minute. First, let's add our URL and discuss what it does. This URL is provided by WordPress API. Whatever your website name is, you can add this part showing on your screen and it will return the data that you are asking for. If you want to know more about the URLs and different form of data that we can pull from WordPress, check my other video in the description. Now let's add add block state which is an empty array by default. Then we are going to add a use effect function that will call the get all blocks function. Let's output the result of all blocks in a console. Save it and let's see. We are getting our data. Now we don't need this line, so remove it. Here we are going to add flag list to show our result. Inside the render item, we are going to create a view that will be responsible for one complete blog view. Let's display the blog ID first. The object is item and the value we are looking for is ID. This is inside the result that we saw early in the console. You can see that we are pulling the data and displaying it in our React Native application. Let's edit the style so we can see properly. Now add title. For that, we will use the value of item.title.rendered. Let's add few more properties like excerpt So just like that, you can pull WordPress data into your React Native project.